And cases of pertussis, commonly referred to as whooping cough, are on the rise. CDC numbers show the illness is returning to pre-pandemic trends. So this afternoon, Health Source 10's Tracy Townsend continues to follow up on this increase in what's going around. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is closely tracking the increase in whooping cough reports across the U.S. The agency reported just over 14,500 cases had been confirmed so far in 2024. That is a significant increase over last year's total of 3,475 cases. The Ohio Department of Health says that as of September 24th, there were 665 cases so far here. And then last year, there were 835 cases total. Dr. Jason Newland, who's the infectious disease chief at Nationwide Children's Hospital, confirmed the increase is being reported in teenage populations. At 11 or 12 years of age, they need to get their Tdap, mm -hmm. right? Again, that tetanus, diphtheria, acellular pertussis. But then again, you and I need to get our tetanus and diphtheria every 10 years. And by the way, we might as well get our pertussis because this vaccine, the immunity wanes over time. Now, that violent cough, which forces you to inhale and make the whooping sound, can be painful. You need an antibiotic prescription early to stop the contagion. You still, my cough, it's the 100 day cough. That sounds horrible. It sounds horrible, right? If it's a hundred day cough, I'd say go get vaccinated, right? Like if you can avoid breaking a rib and coughing for a hundred days, sign me up, please. Get a vaccine, yeah. Now whooping cough can be severe in babies, which is another reason that Dr. Newland and others really urge vaccination. You can get more information with your provider. For Health Source 10, I'm Tracy Townsend.